with a rendering. A rendering is a digitized version of what used to be an ink on paper hard asset, something that, that was a, a physical touch point you could hold in your hand and you could refer to. So if there was a question, it would be, let's check the print. Now it's, you know, let's check the rendering, let's check the, let's check the CAD file. Does Digital Twin have that same relationship to a physical asset? Is this something where you think on the shop floor, if there's a question of a manufacturing engineer talking to a design engineer, you'd say, let's check the Digital Twin? Well, that's one possibility. So it's, and, and that, that links to the one source of truth that we always uh, work towards. So it's like, the, what you have with rendering is really like a, a, an image or, or like a visual representation we instead look at the, representing the physics of the system. So when we go into how how is actually this this asset uh, meant to work, then we can we can look at the digital twin and say, hey, this is how we see the physics working and interacting with the with the external world. But what what we've done with the digital twins is we've gone that step further. Is we've made a connection between the physical asset, the machine, and that that physics based model or or you know complex model, let's say. And the model updates in to match the virtual in real time. So you, if you take a look at it, you're on the shop floor, you say, okay, let's take a look at the model. You're going to see exactly the state of the machine, the physics behind the machine at that point in time. But the cool thing is you can go back in time as well. You can say, well, what was it last week? Did it change? One of the things also is to think about, you know, the types of uh, challenges that an executable digital twin can really address. And in one of the, one of my favorite examples is we've done a fair amount of work in the automotive industry, but in other industries as well. And uh, we work with one of the larger, actually work with all of them, but this is one of the larger German auto manufacturers. And working with that team, we were able to show them how a digital twin could actually help them on the physical side. And they went from setup times that were in the three day, four day time frame down to about four hours, which was fantastic. But more importantly, Within those four hours, once they got it out on the track, they were getting 10 times more information because they were using the executable digital twin as part of the process. As a result, their models, they didn't have to go through five days of testing, they could get it done in one day.